happy Thursday, the last day of September 9, 30, 2021. To God be the glory for yet another beautiful day. He has graced us with joy, with strength, with his love, with his faithfulness once again. And we're able to just be in his presence forevermore. Listen, I don't know how you're feeling. Maybe you are not feeling your best emotionally, mentally, physically. Maybe you're waking up with some pains, headaches, or some stress. Let me remind you that in his favor is life. So you might not have everything perfect, but if you stay within the center of the Lord's will and in his presence, you will have everything you need for today. Yep, weeping may have happened last night or close to midnight, or maybe chronologically that might not be the case, but you experience darkness, weeping, crying, agitated, just frustrated, or something is really weighing you down. It endureth but a moment. <laughs> In the grand scheme of things and time and the spectrum of life, that's only for a moment. <laughs> There's an expiration date for every trial. But in verse five of Psalms 30, because of today's date, in his favor is life. Yes, and joy has come in the morning. The joy of the Lord is our strength. So we are happy, happy, not only with what is happening, but we are happy in the Lord, happy, that we can say that God is our Father. He is our Shepherd. And the next verse says, and in my prosperity. Yes, you're prosperous. You have everything that your heart can desire because your heart is aligned with the Lord's and because we delight in Him continually. Our prosperity, we shall never be moved. Ah, it reminds me of, I believe Psalms 43, five that the Lord will help her right early and she shall not be moved as psalms 46 5. god is in the midst of her right we're in his favor in in our lives we're in him and now <laughs> there's an exchange god is in the midst of us and it says we shall not be moved so come what may whatever happens throw your darts throw your arrows but guess what? He will continually be a shield to us. We have the whole armor of God and we're not touched. God shall help her and that right early. Early in the day, early in our lives, early because we keep him first. Seek ye his kingdom and all his righteousness and everything else shall be added. But we have to seek him early. And in verse 7, Lord, by thy favor, thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. That's right. So the mountain within us, Mount Zion to rejoice. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Oh, that reminds me of Psalms 48. Yes, yes. Favorite anthem. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God in the mountain of of his holiness yes beautiful for situation yes the joy of the whole earth there we go with the joy again is mount zion yes god is known in her palaces for he is a refuge we have thought of thy loving kindness yes we are thinking we are just rehearsing that over and over today how he has blessed us over my goodness according to the name of our God. So is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. Thy right hand is full of righteousness. And we know that it says in Psalms that in his right hand are pleasures forevermore. Because in his presence and in his fullness is life. Yes. And then it says, let Mount Zion rejoice. Well, we are Mount Zion. We will rejoice forevermore. Again, let's, let's rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad, not sad. I was speaking to someone earlier, and they are like, <laughs> it did not say I was sad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Mm -mm. To go into the presence of the Lord, you're glad, you're excited. Yes, walk about Zion and go around about her. Tell the towers thereof, witness with your walk, witness with your life, 
and Marky Well, her bulwarks, show the presence and the fruit of the Lord, the fruit of the Spirit, and consider her palaces. Yes, because you're a royal priesthood, a chosen nation, God's holy people, that ye may tell it to the generations following. Do not hold this to yourself. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. So we thank the Lord for his faithfulness. Psalms 87 is today's, today's chapter. And it starts out, verse 1. His foundation again in, is in the holy mountains. We shall not be moved. We have the fullness of the Lord. We are strong. He is our refuge. The Lord loveth the gates of Zion again more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of thee. And glorious things the Lord has spoken over our lives. We shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord today. I hope you're excited. I hope you run with anticipation. And if you can't run physically, listen, run in your heart, run in your spirit. And just whoa, enjoy the blessings of the Lord. God, we thank you, Lord that you have allowed us to see the last day of the ninth month of 2021. To God be the glory. To you, Father, you get all the praise, honor, and joy. We thank you, Lord, that you have replenished us. Father, we might have had some midnight situations in our life. It might have been all summer, all month, for the first nine months of the year. But God, we thank you that you have led us all the way. You will be with us even unto death. You will be our guide. So, Father, we, we just appreciate, we extol you, and, Lord, we anticipate what you're going to do today. Thank you, Father, for being our firm place, our mountain. We shall not be moved because you help us right early, oh, God. You are in the midst of us. So, Father, continue to have your way in our lives, and we'll forever give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen.